Heart disease is the leading cause of death in women in the United States. There are warning signs, risk factors, and steps women can take to be heart healthy. Here today to talk more about why this is a thing and why we need to fix this is Dr. Joan Briller from UI Health. Dr. Briller, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me, especially since it's heart month. I think it's a good time for women to think about their risk factors or symptoms that might represent heart disease because 40% of women will get heart disease at some point in time in their lives. And not only women, but it's also an issue for pregnant women. What do pregnant women need to know? So, so there are actually two issues with pregnancy. First, it's actually a window of opportunity for us to see what a woman's future risk is. It's kind of a stress test for future cardiovascular disease, if you will. So if a woman develops high blood pressure or diabetes during the pregnancy or has a premature child, that suggests they're higher risk for developing heart disease in later life. And that's a great chance for us to get to them after mm -hmm. and prevent it from happening. And then how do you treat a pregnant woman with heart disease? Well. Um, Pregnancy in this country has a very high mortality rate, yeah. one of the highest of all, in the world of all the wealthy nations. And um, one, if a woman's having symptoms, they may not realize it represents heart disease because they may have some shortness of breath mm -hmm. or fatigue or not be able to do their usual daily activities. And they say, oh, it's just the pregnancy. Oh, you're anxious. Yeah. Yes. But it may not be. So it's really important, first of all, they speak up and mm -hmm. say what symptoms they're having. We can do all sorts of diagnostic testing during pregnancy, and we can modify a lot of medications that people might need if they're found to have a heart problem. Mm -hmm. For any women watching, I think that's a big, big part of this, um, who may be pregnant right now and thinking, Am I, is it in my head, is it anxiety, or is it something more? Um, do you always step up? Should we always be saying, I'm gonna just go get it looked at? I think the answer to that question is mm -hmm. probably yes. Yeah. While some of the heart problems are rare, women who are pregnant can actually have heart attacks, more so than women who aren't pregnant or the same age, or they can develop heart failure. And there are some specific forms of heart failure that are directly related to pregnancy. And if a woman develops one of those, mm -hmm. it's important they get diagnosed. And so um, after the pregnant woman has spoken up and then had treatment, are there steps that women can take after pregnancy to further prevent heart disease in the uh, future? Yes, so I think there are two ways to think about that. One is if you had one of those risk factors, you need to get screened and make sure that it's well treated. So women who had, say, high blood pressure during mm -hmm. pregnancy are higher risk for heart disease in later life. A lot of that is because they develop high blood pressure. So they have to remember to check and make sure that if they get high blood pressure, they get it treated. The same with diabetes. And I think if we go back to all women, what can anybody be doing mm -hmm. to try to prevent heart disease? Um, well, the American Heart Association has eight steps. Right? Okay. Yeah. So you want to eat heart healthy, be active, don't smoke, uh, keep your weight in a normal range. Yeah. Uh, if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or high cholesterol, get it treated, mm -hmm. and then make sure you get enough sleep. Oh, yeah. These all feel like the, we, we know this, we should, we should be doing this anyway, but I think it's important just to remind people. Yeah. Absolutely. And I will say we have a great program at UI Health, especially for pregnancy and heart disease, because I have access to many people to help me out in, in maternal fetal medicine, OB, and then on the cardiac side for if people need interventions. Yeah, very important, because women are always taking care of everybody else, and not themselves, <laughs> right? That's completely true. They assume that it's the man who's going to get heart disease and not pay attention to their own. Oh, Dr. Briller, such an important message. Thank you so much for being here. You can call the number on your screen or scan and that QR code to schedule an appointment with a cardiologist at UI Health. Such important steps.